What is up guys, my name is Agio Zenix and welcome back to the Gaia community server. In today's episode there is something strange going on with my body, what the, what, what is this, what, what, what's happening to me? I mean, guys, guys, what, uh, uh, my, my body, what, uh, my, my, my head is floating, what, what's happening to me, what, guys? Guys, 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 what, what's happening to me? Seriously, what, what the hell is happening to me right now? It's like my body is falling off me. What is going on? Oh, that's just, that's something I did not expect. At least I kind of look normal now, except for you can see down my top. <laughs> but uh, at least I kind of look normal for uh, stay clear of that sun right now because I'm going to add a special effect right here look at this look at this look at what I can do with editing now it's pretty awesome don't worry I won't be doing this constantly unless you think it improves the game um, the video you know having this kind of special effect happening with just light beams and the likes it's pretty awesome I've got to admit I like it and uh, it's something that I feel like I could do and make it so that my videos look even better. Maybe I should do that, you know, just add the effect through my videos. It'll look good, it'll look good. It makes my enchanted tools sparkly, like crazily sparkly. Look at that sparkle. I'm only assuming that it's sparkling for you guys because I don't actually see it. It's in post editing, but still, still, look at this place. With this added effect, look at this place. Does it look any better? Any worse? Do, is this sparkling or is it normal? I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon enough. But I'm back. I'm finally back. Uh, I was gone for a little while and now I am back. And wow, that was close. I almost went into this uh, country no longer accepting it's what a strange name for country, isn't it? Um, but yeah. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, the reason why I started off at the embassy, I actually did a bit of uh, work here. And for starters, for starters, there's no change visually. I've updated the signs finally. I've been meaning to do this for quite a while. Most of them are the same, they're killing other players, except for PvP events and trespassing. Of trespassers, you can kill trespassers, of course. No stealing from other players, no mining in the city, you know, the general rules, no building within city limits, unless the, here's one's updated, unless you have permission to do so. Don't know why that's, that's like that. Uh, only mine or this is another updated one. Only mine ores with silk touch or fortune enchanted pickaxes. Much more clever. It used to just say only mine ores with silk touch. That's what it used to say. Now it says fortune enchanted pickaxes. Uh, free trade with in the country. No trading with. That's the same. But this one's the added bond. Other countries unless you have permission. I uh, couldn't fit the N on. And tent community farms. I think I spelled that wrong. For Zenland, this is the same. No taxes to some suit do so. That's all the same. Here's a new rule. Always pay your debts. Shops are rented. Contact IGL for more info. So yeah, I will discuss about that in the interview or at other points, not in the video actually. But yeah, that's uh, the new rule. And rule 11, have fun. We've got to have fun. Come on. But uh, yeah, they are the updates to the rules. Uh, remember to join the party, guys. Remember, I'm, I'm recording a video and I'm still in a party with Bean Crew right now. Look at that. Shout out to Bean Crew. Bean Crew! 49. But I'm actually um, in game chat to do this. So, yeah. <laughs> I've uh, muted. I'm muted. I can't hit anything. But yeah, tour group, meeting room. So here's the meeting room or interview room. And the rest of the tour is up here. So there's plenty more signs up here now. Uh, not too many, not too many. I don't want to go overboard. I've updated the signs a little. You can read them if you wish. 
Uh, the one, the things I've added is a ranking system is in place. Do your best to gain higher status. Jobs will be available by the state. So yeah, there are the two new signs. I'm gonna move the two old signs here, which is essentially was saying about the jobs, but also about permits, which no longer exist. You may notice nothing is mentioned about permits. And here are the new Zenden rankings. Try your basis. This is what you'll be when you first join Zenden. Full citizen. Full citizens have two chances if you mess up, so be careful not to mess up. <laughs> but there's other perks of being a full citizen, which I'll discuss at a later date. High ranked citizen. Higher than full citizen. More info later. Discussion type if you make it there. Um, Mayor, you gain a city to watch over, of course. Fourth, third, and second in command. They are self explanatory. Whenever I'm not here, if whoever is the fourth, third, or second in command takes the reins until I return. Now, I haven't announced who is the second in command in Zenden yet. However, only, uh, I don't know exactly if a mayor can be second in command or a high rank, um, high rank citizen, but essentially the second in command at the moment is the highest rank, so the high rank citizen, which would be blank high five pro, which is currently the highest rank citizen. But once we get more high rank citizens, I'll have to announce the second, third and fourth in command eventually. So yeah, I'll discuss more about this in interviews and the likes. But yeah, that's all the updates. I wanna just do one last thing. Um, I believe it's in here. Yes, it is. So I don't want that. Fishing rod. I lost my fishing rod, by the way. Shame. It's night time as well. Hmm. So you guys may recall at the front of the Zendant Embassy. There is a sign. Now I've never really explained this sign and I've left it up to people's interpretation. Life and death. Welcome to the Embassy of Zenden. Life and death. Please don't disturb the guard on duty. This, in this book, has the meaning of life and death. That Zenden poem, Life and Death. This book is actually inspired by the New Eden poems, I have to admit. Let's just walk in here. We're safe as long as we're across this doorway. If any mobs try and come after us, <laughs> we're completely safe. So yeah, I was inspired by the New Eden poems to write this. Also inspired by recent events. Uh, essentially what's been going on in my life IRL a couple of days. Well, throughout the past three days, so yeah. Let's uh, read this to you, shall we? No? Nah. Tell you what, guys. Tell you what. If you want to hear this poem, Life and Death, and you want to hear what it's all about, you can either come to me in the game, in Gaia, and ask to read the book, or you can request it in the comment section, and I shall read it to you there. Up to you guys if you want to hear what the poem Life and Death is all about in Zenland. Uh, as for now, I'm leaving it here. No one peek. No one peek. You're not allowed in my office. And if I catch you in my office, it's like a, if I catch you up here. Ooh, it will be bad, bad news. See, I'm allowed up here. It's no entry to wait for one else but me. This is my, this is my little perch. This is the place where I can rest and have like a little breather in this world of Gaia. Who's that? Oh, hello. I have no idea who that is. But anyway, there's been a few other things that's been going on, like the tunnel system that's been getting sorted recently, uh, the expansion to the extended section of the tunnel uh, minecart uh, rail 
system. You know, I'm just making that words come out as I'm going along, trying to come up with some meaning to what I'm saying. So it's sort of not working. But anyway, this is the new Zenland area. Uh, are you? Why are you? Did you follow me? You know what? I'm gonna have to shorten that time. Come on. I'm gonna have to shorten the time on this uh, door. Come on. Guys, guys, don't do this. If you're new to Gaia and you haven't got any privileges, don't come into the skyscraper. You're not allowed in the skyscraper. Uh, you're definitely not allowed in the skyscraper. So where were we? This is the Zenden uh, uh, lobby post boards. Yeah, these things. Uh, so Zenden citizens can come here and announce things if they wish. The advertisements, shops, etc. That's coming out. This is where you're going to advertise. So I've spent a little time working on this place made it a little bit natural got the end stuff as well of course and uh, yeah I think it's nice it's not the best but it's nice not bad with the limited resources I actually had available and there's more space I do like how I've implemented the naturey stuff that I've done it's not something I usually do but I like it so yeah that is the Zenland uh, advertising board. Uh, before we run out of time in the video, let's head off to Zenland. Ah, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, where's my oh my rail is in here? No, it's not. It's elsewhere. I don't know where I put my rail. Ah, uh, great. Let's go. <laughs> So, we've seen this in the last episode. This awesome, awesome design. I can't believe I've got it done. I seriously can't. I still need to do the center, center line of uh, blocks. Replace all that with uh, gravel. But I will get around to it. Trust me, I will. So this is all the work I've done so far on the expansion. There's a lot of work to do. Still a lot of work to do. Um, Digging all the site is not easy, and there was a mob grind, a mob spawn up there as well. Probably, would, probably doesn't work, but still, mob spawner, mob spawner. It's nice to know there's a mob spawner. Ah, back in Zenland at last. Uh, I don't think there's actually any more updates. This is the end city notice board, of course. Still need a better notice board um, and jobs board. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's much more else to update you guys on except for the. No, I don't think I actually progressed on the PvP arena. To be honest, this is the first uh, few hours back on for uh, about a week for me. <laughs> it feels like a week. Probably is a week. Uh, but yeah, this is the first time I've gotten back on and was in about a week and it's uh, I'm trying to recatch my bearings. Uh, yeah, I didn't really do any more work on this except for I fixed it up a little. Uh, when I started the time lapse and I got attacked, I built this kind of wrong and uh, now it's right. So I Everything in this build is built in fours. That's how I know that I built it wrong. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Except for the center stage, which is two fours, so it's an eight. So eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I expanded it. One, two, three, four, and etc. So yeah, I kind of expanded this to make it bigger. This arena is going to be awesome. It is. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have stands. This is where the stands are going to be. It's going to have 
obstacles, it's going to have team based gameplay. I'm going to build a building up out from here, probably going up to about here. So, there's like there are going to be a couple of rooms for spawns, and there's going to be a place to uh, store your items in. So, when you go into battle, maybe no rooms for spawns because, to be honest, that's what the hotel was. That, in the end it is for, for you to respawn and keep your stuff safe as well but yeah this arena is going to be great i'm going to get to work back to work on this arena asap and build it all up build the obstacles and make it worth while i'm going to need a lot of sand i like my sand arena floors i mean it just looks right when you have sand like this it really does there. It's going to be twice the size of this arena actually, isn't it? It's definitely twice the size of this arena. When you look from the outside, this arena looks large. But when you get inside, it's quite small. When you look here, and you've got the markings, this is a large arena. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. So yeah, it's quite the large arena to that one and it all goes all the way back to the end here either end so it's definitely large larger than that one medium size that's what i'm going to call it a medium sized arena might have a few underground sections we'll see we'll see but i'm afraid i'm out of that time for today guys thank you all so much for watching be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode and only if you have i've been adrian zenix subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time in the world of broken body parts. I mean Gaia. Bye.